Thank you. Are you okay? Easy. Easy. Put the, put the. You're not allowed to sit in that chair. You know you're not allowed to sit in that chair. I, I can't even believe you fit in this chair. Can you please get down? Get down right now. Get, get down right now. <laughs> You gotta get out of the chair, okay? Get out of the chair right now. My goodness. What? You can wear your pajamas to school today. Oh my goodness, it's pajama day? Do you wanna wear Christmas jammies? You can wear jammies to school today. That's pretty exciting. Nikki, you're so happy this morning. Show me the Scooby lick. Scooby, Scooby Doo. <laughs> it's a great day, buddy. You gonna wear your Christmas jammies? Give me a high five, man. I love you. This whole thing just feels crazy. I'm kind of used to it at this point. It doesn't even bother me anymore. I've been wearing this all day. No problem. About to set myself free. I do feel like the robot from Lost in Space. Danger Will Robinson. I'm starting to fog up here. The day was great. Hi, Kira. Hi, Rocky. So I applied for another job. Okay. Security at Target. Pay 17 bucks an hour. Okay, great. That smells delicious. Yeah, you're not getting the plate. No more. Smells like New York in here. You're not making me one? No. Bacon and eggs. All right, good. Johnny, you know, we've got to try everything, right? Yep. And I got, uh, and I got tutoring twice a week. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Way to handle everything, John. Great job. Do these dogs need to go out? You just happy to see me? All right, Rocky, I love you. Hello. No sun, no sun. Did you wear pajamas to school today? Okay. It was pajama day. That's very exciting. Hi, Kira. How are you? She's like, you keep your distance. Shawnee, send me a wet your fix. What do you want me to fix? Wet your fix. Fix what? I know what you want, but I fix. Fix. Fix my. Sure. Oh, that's good talking. Nikki, you had a good day? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. It's pajama day, of course. <laughs> what could be wrong with that? Great. Well, the rest of the, the day is going to be great, too. Right, Kira? She's just keeping her eye on you, Sam. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> That's Nikki, tremendous. I think you realize I'm really not threatening them. Like, you just be careful. We're not sure. Shadow was supposed to go to the office today, but... She's no, home no. because she broke her foot. We no, think she broke her foot. Do it tomorrow. What? It's okay. It's fine. We'll see what happens there. I'm certain she's going to be screaming for me when she gets off the phone. Like, don't you dare put that video together with my foot on it. My baby. Independent. Pretty good. Pretty impressive. Way to go, Nick James. You're doing a great job. Did you ever do that before? What, with me? just have him do That's this? That's a new thing I'm trying. So I'll, like I did with this bed. So I'm having him, I just tell him to do it. And then I close the door a little bit so I can see what he's doing, but he can't see me. So he kind of gets used to it. Oh my God. So just he, turned he it on. You just turned it on too. Give me a high five. <laughs> great job, Nick. So he, that was uh, phenomenal. He was like, give my phone back. <laughs> he gets, uh, do it so he gets used to the fact where, you know, one day you can tell him, oh, dryer needs to be empty. 
And then, so he doesn't get used it, to someone standing there. Yeah. So he'll just get used to no, that's, doing it by himself. That's a great job, man. Nice. Next step, man. That's pretty good. John, how much laundry did you do today? That's, that's why, yeah. Did you that's do any laundry? Nikki's got you beat today. <laughs> you made them what color? What color? Red and green. Green. That's right. They came out great too, right, Nikki? Did you have fun? We had so much fun. We made yeah. cupcakes. <laughs> Nikki, you want me to close these curtains? Yes. Okay. Get down here. No, get over here. Tell her. Get out of here. Kira. Like oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you have fun she with probably needs Brandon to go for a run. Parker? Yes, yes. Yes, he's a stuff dog at me. I'm trying to watch my show. Yes. Right, bo -bo. <laughs> so I was reading the messages last night, as I do every night, and one of them really caught my attention. And it was from the Preheim pack. And it was a message of thankfulness for our family's transparency, especially for families like hers that focus on daily happiness while planning for the future. And I think that's such an important topic, daily happiness while planning for the future, right? Because our days can be such a challenge and the future has so much unknown. And I think these two topics are different for families with children with special needs for sure, right? So as far as daily happiness is concerned, well, it, it starts for me with my faith, my faith in God and knowing that I'm here on assignment and this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, that I was chosen for this assignment. There's no doubt in my mind that no one can do it just like me, right? I start my day every morning uh, expressing gratitude, usually before my feet even hit the ground, that I'm so thankful to come back for another day, that I get another chance to do all of this, right? And lead this family and work with Shannon to ensure the success of all of us, frankly. Uh, we're all going in our own direction. Myself, Shannon, Shannon's working on her career and, and, and furthering that. Nicholas is learning all of his skills and you know, becoming more independent with each day that goes by. Johnny's starting his first semester of college. So you know, all of these things and understanding that this is exactly where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing gives me this profound sense of peace. And that brings me happiness. Peace is the precursor to happiness. There's no doubt, right? Another piece for us was adjusting our priorities, which we all have to do. And I kind of did that kicking and screaming for many years, you know, metaphorically, because there was a lot that, you know, prof on a professional level that I really wanted to accomplish. Uh, you know, I have an administrative degree. My, my plan was to become a school principal. Uh, we had this entertainment company that was doing really, really well, but it caused strife. There's no doubt about it, you know, that pulling away from the family, trying to accomplish these other objectives, it, it gave me strife. It made me feel uneasy. It gave me anxiety. It caused arguments between Shannon and myself. And so when I started to refocus my life, I began to feel more peace and that peace led to our happiness. There's no doubt in my mind. Another decision that Shannon and I made a long time ago was that we were never going to sacrifice Nicholas's day-to-day -day happiness in the name of acquiring new skills. And that was very, very easy after having such a difficult time at his previous school setting. We just wanted him to be safe. And I think that was like one of my initial messages to, at his new school is like, take him keep him happy, get him home safe to us, and let's just start from there. Because we were so concerned just about his well-being because he can't tell us what his day was like when he's not with us and, and all of that. And I think that led to lessening the stress in the house, being so overly concerned with every single interaction that he would have uh, and really micromanaging too many situations. And when we stopped doing that, our, our lives became a lot more peaceful, which leads to happiness. Another thing that we do here to ensure our daily happiness is to make time to do the things that we like to do here in the house. And for me, it's making the videos. Making Nikki TV videos checks a lot of boxes for me. Number one, it ensures that my family is getting 100% of my attention. I get to see our interactions together and reflect upon them 
and make changes if necessary. I get to judge myself to a certain degree, but what I have found, and this is really why I'm addicted to making them, is that the guy that I see in these videos is the best version of me, for sure. Focusing on the future. That's kind of connected to daily happiness because if you create a compelling future, it will de-stress your present, right? We look forward to the future where the future used to give us fear. We know that we're marching together toward a common goal as a family, right? Nicholas has six more years of elementary school. I have five more years of teaching. When Nicholas turns 21, his education will cease to exist the way we see it now. Right now, he has a team of amazing professionals that work with him every single day that I trust beyond measure. That's gonna end when he turns 21. That's just the way it is. In the special needs world, we call it falling off the cliff, right? And so we have always had this idea in mind that we're gonna do something together. And we are. We're going to start some kind of business. And we have a bunch of ideas already uh, that's going to employ Nicholas, that's going to employ other folks with special needs, and it's gonna be a place where I work and, and hopefully my whole family one day works, right? I have this vision in my mind of all of us getting in the car together, including our dogs, and where we go and, and we work together. And not just us, a whole team of people that need a safe place to contribute, to spend their days, to feel important. I can't tell you how, how much I can see this in my mind, and I know that it's going to come to fruition. So marching toward that creates excitement instead of what we used to have when he was little of what's the future going to bring, right? So creating a compelling future. So while we continue to do Nikki TV for a whole bunch of wonderful reasons, at this point, the greatest reason is because it's going to be the engine that turns our vision into a reality. This is the reason we're trying to raise money with Nikki TV. I'm not trying to get a better car. I'm not trying to take a high-end vacation. I'm not even trying to quit my job at this point. I have another five Septembers as a school teacher and then I can retire. Uh, and that's gonna work out because that will give me a full year to try to get things set up before Nicholas turns 21, right? And we don't wanna just create an opportunity for our family and our special needs loved one, but we wanna do it for as many special needs families as we can, and not just with one business. This is going to be our legacy. We are going to create both entrepreneurial and employment opportunities for as many special needs families as we can. So if you have the means and you'd like to contribute to this vision, we would love that. You can make a donation to our Venmo of $5, $3, $2. You could join our Patreon. You could buy some merchandise if you'd like. Whatever you're comfortable with. And if this isn't your thing, if you just want to watch our videos, we really appreciate that as well. Uh, we love you anyway. So I just wanted to share all that. It was a great comment, um, and, I, and I hope everybody got something out of this conversation. Is this the dreaded goodbye hug? Yeah, he knows what time it is. Yeah, he's like, all right, let's hold on now. Yep. Those feet got hurt. He does that to me. I'm like, yeah, I got to sit down. It hurts a little bit. <laughs> How you doing, Nick James? You happy boy? From the novel that were particularly memorable for you and relate them to real life. Do not do a parallel to Hitler or Russian revolution. Are you guys doing homework in there? Oh. Yeah. All right, we have a whole counter load full of Nikki TV gifts that we got to get to. This is going to have to be part of tomorrow's video, though, because this is going to take a little bit of time to get through. But it's pretty awesome. Kind of like Christmas. Hi, Sam. Hi, Nick. Hi, Hi. House, Star House. You want to tell Daddy what you told me before about my shoes? Hmm? What did you tell me to do? Shoe. Take. Take. take them. Take. Oh. Take them off. Okay. Take the shoes off. That means he's got to stay. I put yeah. my shoes on him and I sat down. And he's like, shoes, shoes take off. off. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha That's what you want, Nick. How you doing, big boy? He's good. He's a little tired. How's that foot, Shan? It's good, I have it up. It's purple. 
Yeah. Purple toe, Shannon. I got purple toe. You so tired? Today is. Look up here. Today is. Yeah. Tomorrow is. Thursday. What do we have? Sale. So when am I coming? Thursday. Tomorrow. Huh? Right? Yeah. 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 All right. This is my other buddy elf. Yeah, oh. you do look like Buddy the Elf. He's Buddy the Elf. <laughs> We're gonna call him Buddy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Kira's like, what are you doing to her? <laughs> Did Nikki have dinner yet? Not uh, yet. Yeah. Okay. How come the puppy's beds got moved into here? They, they definitely like it. Oh. Happy boy. Rocky's even too big for that bed. His paws hang off. I know. Right? Kira fits perfectly. Oh, you finished school today. Oh, man. It's only 5.30, but I feel this need to, like, wrap up the night. I understand that feeling. I, uh, I had a piece of grilled chicken and some rice and beans after school. Okay. And then I topped that off with a meatball and some grated cheese, so I'm not hungry. So I don't have to have dinner. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm not putting that in writing. I want it in writing. No, no, no. I want a confirmation of this statement. Please repeat back what you just said. I may me. have a before bed snack <laughs> that will be no one's responsibility other than my own to create okay, and clean. Okay. But let's just wrap this up. What do you think? What do you yeah. think? What do you think, Nick James? You did a great job today, man. I'm proud of you. Give me a fist bump, man. I love you. Nikki, I think we're done for the night. Can you say goodbye to everybody? <laughs> really good. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you next time.